Bailey is just getting used to the chain pile today and he's been persistently lagging while I use it. So I'm going to change it up and lure him into the position that I want with treats for just now. It's not that he's stupid, he's actually figured out how to get out of doing what I want him to do. Bailey, sit. Good boy. So I got my treats. We'll go for the basic luring with the nose at first. And then there are steps to this where eventually he either isn't on treats or, or doesn't see where I have the, nope, sit. Nope. Ah, set. Okay. Okay, now let's go. Set. So you line yourself up with your dog, their shoulder to your leg. Leash thumb through the handle, fingers around, and it's accordion in your hand, not wrapped around, and your fingers are around that. Once you've measured your leash, you keep your right hand where it is, except for one correction um, if he drifts too much to left, which is this. And then my hand goes right back. So, to make this even more complicated, we're going to use a treat to lure Bailey in place. Unfortunately, just ate his dinner, so hopefully he's in the mood for some treats. I didn't think we'd need to use this, so Bailey, heel. So this is just to teach him the correct position. Heel. So he understands that, but the uh, collar getting tighter means he should be in position. So I'm not going to 
to spend the rest of my life or Bailey's training session hunched over and giving treats. This is just, this is again, just to teach in position. Sit. Good. Bailey, heel. No, come on. Good. No. Sit. Yes. And I'm trying to keep my shoulder straight too so I don't change the position of my body and get him all confused. Because if you drop your shoulder back, then their target point changes for them. Come on, Bailey. Bailey, heel. It's not a comfortable way to walk. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Okay. Good boy. We were doing this on another type of leash. Oops. Wrong frame. You missed a good one there. A slip leash, which he does very nice with. But for the timing aspect, I'd rather have a metal chain collar because the slip leash has really no timing per se and has to be used more like uh, tight until they do it instead of a uh, zip zap, which I prefer. I think overall it's, it's more comfortable and uh, just that quick correction is what I, I like. It's well timed and it's, it's more concise, easier to communicate to the dog, in my opinion. Bailey, sit. Good boy. Okay, let's try not to get out of camera frame. That's my, that's on me, right? Bailey, heel. No. Good. Good. Sit. Yes. Good boy. Bailey, heel. <laughs> forward. No. No. Good. No. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, set. Yes. Okay. Good boy, Bailey. Let's see how long we've been doing that for. Just about. Just about it up, Bailey. Do a few more. I forgot to reset my stopwatch, which is why I had to look at the camera there. Okay, let's go. So we'll try another one forward facing the camera. Wait though. We're gonna go. Yeah. Come on, Billy. Good. 
It's essentially the same as okay. It's a release word. Bailey! <gasps> Bailey, Bailey? Can we do it again? Sit. When I try to go a little bit way, go back and then double back. Bailey, heel! this, this, I'd be very happy. Be very happy, Bailey. Good. Bailey, heel. No, not after the ball. Good. Good. Go. No. No. I'm going to bump into the camera. No. Good. Nope. Good. So I want to see that little nose out of the corner of my eye. Nope. Don't a little harder. He sees his ball right there and uh, I'm not going to get rid of it because it's good for him to be working around things that distract him that aren't moving right now. It's uh, what I would call a, a mild distraction for most dogs. Okay. Bailey, heel. Yeah. Nope. Good. Good boy. Heel. Yeah. Nope. Oh, we're going to have to go back. Ah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Good. Yeah. No. No. I've lost my position on my loose. Here we go. Heel. No. Good. Nope. Oh, goodness. Heel. My belly. Oh, good. Good. So then, sis, we turn around towards the camera. One, two, three, four, five. Set. Okay. Oh, one more. Good boy. Good belly. You ready? One more. Then we'll play ball. We'll play ball. 
Belly, heel. No. No. steps are changed over time. So that's just not quite the beginning of the heel because like I said he was on slip leash before and now he's not as used to this uh, metal collar and he probably needs a size lower than this too. But he'll get used to it just like he did the British slip. There's, I do have an article on the differences between the equipment and why I prefer certain pieces of equipment over others. The British slip pinch handle now, no, I didn't, I didn't set you free to play ballies yet. The British slip in general I like for um, the ease of putting it on the dog. You know, if I have one in my glove compartment and I see a strange dog, I can lasso them quickly. If I'm running out of the house with my already trained dog, I can get it on. Uh, the things I don't like about it are the timing. Also, it tends to rub away the uh, dog's, especially short dog's hair around the throat, which I'm not wild about. I, it doesn't really do it, you know, just aesthetics, but uh, I don't love that. So as a training tool, it can be, but it's it's sloppier. And, uh, so, and so when it's sloppier, it doesn't communicate uh, as quickly to the dog as one might like. So sometimes I'm concerned about that, other times not so concerned, like if they're baby puppies. This guy's three. He's not a baby puppy anymore, although he's lovely. He's a lovely puppy. Oof. He wants a ball. Go get your ball, Bailey. Do you got it? So now I'm going to go play ballies with Bailey. It's <laughs> part of his reward for such a good job. But first, even before that, I'm going to make sure he does and need to go out because we're going to uh, potty training him to go outside too, which he's been doing wonderfully on. We're, we're basically well into that. <laughs> Woo! Lovely, lovely dog, as you can see. Very lovely. Great dog. But the reason Bailey's in, just in case someone other than the owner is watching this, is uh, nervous or excited barking at things outside, at neighbors next door, inside, huh? Been working on that quite a bit, haven't we, Bailey? Yes. Yes, we have. And, uh, He's uh, started to bark up a little bit more in week two because he, he finally realized that he uh, feels a little bit more confident at home here, which is normal. So then we had to uh, buckle down and start working on that with renewed energy in week two. But he's getting it. He's a nice dog. A little anxious, but not horrible. A little bit of separation anxiety too when I go in the other room. But uh, he will come out fine. He's a good boy. Oof. It's hard to get up when you're getting older. <laughs> <laughs> 